Hello, hello. Want to release a quick word? Come on in. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Getting ready for 2018. Prophetess, um, Prophetess Lorraine, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I almost forgot your name for a minute. <laughs> I had to look at the name. But y'all got a real quick word for 2018. I'm not even supposed to really be on here. But I'm just going to... Uh, I just have to be obedient and release this word. I wasn't supposed to be on till after the new year. That's why I haven't really been doing any messages. I've really been waiting to hear from God. And when God, when God is not speaking, God's not sending a word. But see, what I, what I try to do is I want a kind of revelation that's going to bring us into 2018. So what God has been doing, God has been speaking to me and he's been downloading revelation. And I've been thinking about contemplating on what I can do better for my ministry. What, what, what could I have done better in seven, 2017 In 2017, I was really lazy. I was really, it seemed like to me, I was lazy in my prayer life. I was lazy in my reading. I was lazy in my ministering. I, I did give it my all in 2017. And this is just me confessing. I, I don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I gave it a hundred percent. So, I was trying to self-examine. One thing about it, you have to examine yourself. You can't point fingers at nobody else about why you're not going to this place in God, why you're not moving forward. This is the time for me to be authentic and be real with the people as I already am, but I'm about to be real. I'm about to be transparent more with my ministry. It's going to be a lot more truth because people are stirring away from the truth. And I think in 2017, there were some things we could have done better. I know it's not just me. I know even with you. I know many of us, we, we, we strive to be great. We strive to do what we can do. We, we strive to be better men and women of God. We strive to be better husbands and better wives. But what, what can we do better for 2018? Real quick word, God released a word to me in 2018, for 2018. And it started, remember I was talking about the unusual. When he spoke to me about how, how he's going to move in an unusual way. And God's going to move in, in, in ways that we've never seen. And see, God was not just speaking for a word for the specific month. God was talking about what the season that we're getting ready to come up on. The year that we're approaching, how it's going to be unusual. And then like, a, I believe it was like a week later, or like a, probably less than a week. God spoke to me and he said erratic. I said erratic. And these are words I don't use. So it, it was such a word that I had to go look up. And erratic, what erratic meant was it, it, it meant unusual. So it, 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 it coincided with what he already spoke. Erratic means not regular in crazy different ways. So I begin to read the definition. I say, God, well, what are you saying? And what, and what I believe God was saying is he's going to move in such a way. Ways we've never seen in supernatural ways and miraculous ways that we've never seen. And this is what he meant by the erratic. And also rededication came in my spirit. Hey, how you doing? God bless you. Rededication. I believe that people are about to rededicate themselves back to the glory. I think people are about to rededicate back, rededicate themselves back to the Lord. As we already know, he's married to the backslider, right? I believe people that have backslidden, people that have turned away from ministry, people that have kind of stepped out of that realm with God. I think people are about to rededicate themselves in Jesus' thing. That's what's also about to go back in 2018. Because many of us, we walked in that lazy spirit, not just you, but I'm talking about me. It seems like when I, when I would go to pray, I, it seemed like I would be so tired. It seemed like the enemy would put such a spirit of, of sleepiness up on me. And when I would really go to seek God, I wasn't really in my hour a day prayers like I was. It was down to like 20, 30 minutes. And it was like, it was like it was harder to read. It was harder to pray. Like I was seeking God. I was still hearing from God. But it, it seemed like I wasn't quite touching that rim like I was in 16. I'm talking about in 16, it was such a realm. I mean, a realm of parables when God was speaking to me in parables. I have not gotten back to that realm. I want to get back to that realm where God was speaking cities and regions and, and states and different places. I mean, I was such a realm in 2016. But what I did was in 17, it seemed like I kind of stepped down. I was still seeking God. I was still pressing to the face of God, still prophesying and still ministering. 
but I wasn't to my full potential like I was prior to that. And I believe God wants to rededicate us back to that glory. He wants to rededicate us back to that realm that we once were because I said, God, give me a word for 2018. And God began to minister to my spirit and begin to tell me that it's going to be unusual. It's going to be erratic. And people are going to rededicate themselves back to the glory. Also, God spoke to me about the designated. I went back and I, I uh, got the definition of, of designated. And the definition of designated means to appoint, to appoint to offices and positions and different things like that. But what fell in my spirit was God is going to begin to appoint us and anoint us for uh, uh, offices and positions that we're not qualified for. I know many of you look down on you. You don't have these degrees. You don't have these certificates like others. You may not have theology degrees. But God is going to appoint you and anoint you for this hour. I need you to receive it because this is what God is speaking. Also, 2018, you know, I, I, I hear a lot of people, they like to say a new beginning and it's going to be a new year, new year, new me and all this stuff. Watch this. God said it's going to be a fresh beginning. As we know, there's nothing new under the sun. What has been has already been, right? God is doing a fresh beginning, meaning he's going to refresh some things. There's nothing that God does is new. He's an old God. God said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, right? Meaning his word don't change. God's not changing. So there's nothing new. God may refresh it. So what's going to happen is it's going to be a fresh beginning. I believe a fresh glory. I see somebody said fresh wind. Yes, fresh wind, a fresh anointing. It's going to be a fresh beginning for his people. But I believe in 2018, we have to position ourselves for the glory. We have to get in position for what God is getting ready to do and get ready for God to appoint you, to appoint you in offices, to get to bring forth prophetic anointings and to change lives and renew mindsets. It's time to be kingdom minded and not people minded. It's not time to be focused on the, the nonsense and the foolishness that we did in 2017. We're coming above that in this next season, in this next year. I just wanted to encourage you get ready for the erratic and get ready for the unusual we're going out with a bang into 2018 so y'all y'all look y'all be encouraged be blessed y'all share this message love you